Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Illustrator, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool stuff. What I want to do today, guys, is show you a cool little trick in Adobe Illustrator for fixing a Gaussian blur and using the Gaussian blur like a pro. As you can see here, what I've got is this ellipse that I've applied a radial gradient to. If I apply, if I select it and go to Effect Blur, Gaussian Blur, and if I was to uh, increase the radius to its full maximum of 250 pixels, you can see that we have this sort of square-like uh, element here. It doesn't look nice. This is not what I wanted to happen. Okay, and you may and you may suffer with this when you're using the Gaussian Blur in Adobe Illustrator, but don't worry, I'm here to help and show you a little trick. So I've just pressed Command Z for Mac users or Control Z for Windows users just to go back to our original state. Yet again, I've got it selected. But if you now go to Effect, Document, Raster, Effects, Settings, and you see here we've got Add. And at the moment, it's at uh, 36 pixels. But if I increase that now to 300 pixels and press OK, and then if I go to now Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we have the radius at its maximum of 250 pixels. You can now see we have the actual uh, Gaussian blur that I actually wanted to create initially. Just a little trick there for you guys, just to help you in the future with your future designs. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.